is not an unbroken government commitment to universal health coverage. Anambra Police Commissioner urges India and Anambra to reach out to security agencies during emergencies through their hotline. And during security and civil defense court, time to female squad to uphold professionalism. As they had six opposition party leaders and convicts convicted in Cambodia on conspiracy charges. Hello, good evening. Welcome to New at 7, at 7.30, I am David Wassily. Before the news in details, here is a special message. Governor Tupo Masolodo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State Academy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tasks ahead. The Anambra State Commission for Health, Dr. Famo Dike, says the state will continue to make the sector resilient and Dr. Obidike said this during a two-day meeting of the State, State, State Council on Health held in Noka. Chibuzo Koye has the details. The vet which has the team resilience and sustainable health system for Anambra way forward through school players and players in the health sector across the country. Dr. Obidike explained that in order to achieve universal health coverage, the National Council on Health has mandated to hold East Council on Health meeting annually to address critical issues in the health sector and so that way forward. The Commissioner noted that Anambra State Council on Health is responsible for health interventions such as the protection, promotion, improvement, and maintenance of the health of the citizens of the state and formulation of policies among us, as well as offer advice to the Governor on matters relating to the development of relevant health policy and adaptation of national on health and its implementation. According to Dr. Obidike, the council is also an area for the liberation of critical issues affecting the health of the city and country. Citizens of the region who have the best and promised and must achieve universal health coverage through providing access to security health care, bearing in mind that no one must be left behind. In a keynote lecture in Professor of Health Economics, Systems Policy in Nigeria, Professor Obina Ongo, who regretted the state of Nigeria, said that the recent epidemics have shown that the country's health system is not resilient and that in order to achieve universal health coverage, health sector must be resilient at all levels. And the bottom line for all these weaknesses is that the system is not resilient. Now, because the system is not resilient, COVID-19 can come in and stop this In his week message, the Anambra State Coordinator World Health Organization, Anambra Fiori, Dr. Abu Nazu, congratulated the state organization and promised they will continue to support it in achieving a resident and sustainable health sector. We are in partnership with the state. Uh, we are watching how the political community from the government side. We had their full of discussions. And then our national coordinator, as he mentioned, we are a problem because they will have now the political will. So the next thing is to sustain what is already on the ground after the five years program supported by EU. So the other thing we are doing is to ensure activity. Delivered goodwill messages at the event in Oka. This is still for PS News. The Anambra State Commission of Police, Mr. Echeng Echeng, has assured Indian Anambra at home and those coming back from different parts of the world of their safety. 
speaking during an interactive session with the managing director of the service, Mr. the security agencies are fully prepared and well equipped to maintain effective security of life and property throughout the Utah and beyond. Paul Ezeke reports. The police commission said has provided the conducive and enabling atmosphere and environment for people to come home and enjoy their Christmas as well as necessary support and encouragement to security agencies to consolidate on remarkable successes recorded in tackling insecurity since the governor assumed office few months ago. C.P. Esheng explained that all security agencies are working in synergy and has embarked on show of force, identified and fortified black spots in various parts of the state, block entry points to preempt hoodlums sneaking into Anambra from neighboring states and made it clear that criminals no longer have operating camps in any part of the state. Security in Anambra with the full support of His Excellency, the Governor of Anambra State, is a collective one. All the security agencies are involved, the police, the army, the navy, immigration, uh, civil defense, the road safety, and every other person is involved. And I think we are very ready for this particular period. Um, to tell you how serious we take this period, uh, we were able to come out with operation orders, which has kind of given assignment to all the security agencies. And then collectively, we have decided or started them backing on shore of force, especially to police uh, the black spots, uh, places like uh, Mpo, Abatete, Okulu, and uh, Ibarriam, all places that we have been having problems. And um, we also have decided that uh, there is need to uh, kind of encase uh, the state by making sure that uh, we block access in and out of uh, uh, neighboring states to make sure that these uh, hoodlums do not come into our own state to cause pr uh, problems. We also have uh, what you call visibility policing for the period, making sure that police are everywhere and other security agencies to give assurance to the people, the good people of Anambra State that they can come out and enjoy themselves during this period. He urged the people to disregard information and fake news on social media trying to instill fear on people and restated the commitment of security agencies to actualize Governor Soludo's vision of crime-free society. We have opened up the hotlines and also police rescue app and the numbers are here for you. Call this number if you are in distress and uh, the response will surprise you. I'll take the number. 070-3919-4332. I take it once again. 070-3919-4332. Another one. 080-39-334002. Those are numbers that you can call during this period and the response will be very swift. Efforts to ensure his free movement within Newe during the year tide, the Transition Committee Chairman of Newe North Local Government Area, Engineer Chris Obiora, has commenced palliative work on roads across the area. Engineer Obiora and his team embarked on inspection. To Valentine Mbadoa has the details. Inspecting progress of work, Engineer Obiora said was to make the people have a fear of government, especially uh, he noted that all the critical questions on the main, including those returning for the youth out to all programs and policies. He urged them to be law abiding by avoiding crimes, keeping a clean environment, and also obey traffic rules for improved society. Some new users, including Mr. Mudabu Chumali, Mr. Divine Mokenko, 
and Mobweze Anyakwe expressed joy over the development, noting that the critical spots have badly affected movements in the area. They commended the state government for coming to their aid, noting that the palliative work will help improve movements and avoid possible gridlocks. <laughs> Some of the roads visited during the inspection by engineer Obiara are Igwe Oris Road, Izjuku Junction, Old Ibe the Bank Junction, Ebe Road, Obunaze Junction to St. Mary's Anglican Cathedral, Uwagunewi, and Amoko Junction, among others. Engineer Obiara, earlier before setting out for the inspection, played a courtesy call on the traditional ruler of Nehru, Iwekene Torizu, who received and prayed for him and the government to have a smooth administration and governance that is people-oriented. Uh, we built to Junction 2. Uh, as the road goes on last right, uh, and, uh, the, uh, the, the equipments are also on the move, coming to, they're getting to that place. They're almost done with the uh, road now. Then from there, they will move down to Ebo into Anglican Church. Then from there again to Mobulezo Junction. They have a practical place along the Federal Expressway. Yes, um, there, I have 13 engineers on the Baraka, because of um, our governor, Ebo governor. From Valentine Bada reporting, Fabulous News. It was an atmosphere of joy, conviviality, and reunion, and reunion as Ndo Mundioko Oka South local government area held a grand reception for one of our illustrious sons, Mr. Osionoko, the managing director and chief executive officer of Oka Capital Territory Development. The event, which held at Ndichia Hall, Umudioko, attracted Governor Tukuma Soludo, represented by his chief, Mr. Ernest Ezajoe, top government functionaries, the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA among others. Chibuz Okoye reports. reception, Governor Saludo thanked them for supporting his administration and revealed that his government is currently constructing the state, out of which about 70 kilometers are in Oka, who described Mr. Onuku as a symbol of an ideal and umbrella administration has employed 5,000 teachers, doctors and nurses, mapped out over 2.5 billion naira head on, among others. He appealed to Ndioka and Anam foreign that all the party's candidates in the 2024. <laughs> The State Commissioner for Industry Gonade described Mr. Onuku as a good man who has a lot of potential in his transformation agenda in Oka capital territory and the Oka to keep praying for him. The APCA candidate for Oka North and South Honorable Obi Wanho, as well as APGA candidate for Oka South One constituency, Mr. Igwede Manwofo described the Atna boss as a shining light that should be emulated. Responding, Mr. Onuku, the honor thanked Governor Soludo for finding him worthy to serve in his and promised that he will never disappoint both the state government. I will continue. Make 
private sector. I am here. Can we buy on the on the street? Where impact of government? Go feel here. Then we are not government. Our government of the rich. Our government of the. The governor is much more masoludo. Nature man. Mm -hmm. Pray God to continue to bless and protect Mr. O. Used the event to extend his Christmas largesse to limited into Apga family. The reception climax when I prayed for Mr. Onuko gave him symbol of authority. In Oka, this is Tibuzo National Association of Persons with Disability, and the fourth anniversary of the enactment of the Anambra State 18, as were well recounted success stories and evaluated the efforts in seeking the change. Dennis brings us the details of the disability community. They are often marginalized and segregated against in the society and sometimes largely excluded from participating in community development, education and even in marriage and employment opportunities until of the disability rights law. They disclose that it lends less efforts to actualize the legislation with disability in the state, they know that on 13 September 2018, assembly passed the disability rights bill said to immediately by the then governor. The event, the chairman John Apid, okay, underscore strategic points that. The massive awareness and enlightenment through life television programs, training and advocacy engagements at state and local government levels, building their capacity and prudent management of resources from various and John Apid partnership with civil society organizations and the media in Anambra State. Comrade Okeke still faced with lack of funds to embark on improved mass awareness Inaccessibility of public structures, subjecting members to stand in queues when seeking for social services to stop members in a place that will be in their journey. Comrade Okeke noted that, however, they have been able, through their various engagements, to achieve the construction of ramps at Newe North and in the local government areas where their members are having their monthly meeting. Appointments of disability desk officers at the National Human Rights Committee increase in numbers of persons with disability and celebrate marriages of members. He appreciated the efforts of the administration led by Professor Chuku Masolu and goodwill to persons with disabilities who he said have excellent results in service delivering and requested that resourceful Anambra persons with disability should be brought into positions of policy formulation and the law, among other things, we fully create space for people with disabilities to enjoy, to be actively involved in some making process of our policy. Them, uh, that affecting them hence, and told all the barriers in our society. At, at this administration dedication, which expectedly results in and also give hope in having a great and Ambra state. Regardless of and negative attitude of some individuals in our environment, we just for an Ambra persons not in the positions of policy formulation. Offer productive value towards inclusive and prosperous Anambra State. The team 
transformative solutions for inclusive development, innovation in fueling an accessible and equitable Blessing name is ABS News. ABS Television, still to come. No squad to uphold professionalism as that opposition party leaders activists have been convicted in Cambodia conspiracy charges. We we'll remind you that Governor Chukwuma Saluda's sound maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of all Igbo values. Let's continue to give him maximum support. The news continues right after now. Stay with us. Christmas means different things. It's the decorations that brighten up everywhere. It's the memories and thoughtful gifts we share with loved ones as we enjoy Whatever Christmas every morning with the goodness of a peak protein from all of us at peak. Happy Peakmas. Welcome to the Glow Festival of It's a celebration like no other with prizes like no other. 20 new houses to be won. Cars. 200 sewing machines. 100 generators. 1,000 rechargeable fans. It's the season in the Glow Festival. 611 hash Christmas the decorations that brighten up everywhere with loved ones as we enjoy a beautiful whatever Christmas means to you it's every morning with the goodness of a peak protein at peak, have a merry US security and civil defense special female squad to demonstrate a high in the discharge of their duties. Ahmed Audi said this is that this in Mina why he called on call of training and retraining its personnel for efficiency and effectiveness. Mr. Audi, who was represented by Belo Argongu, said that he was so impressed with the performance of the female personnel also trained in weapons handling. Audi commended the Niger police in the state and called for more support. In the spirit of Christmas, building materials in in the Demi North local government areas disposed the sum of to 16 traders in the market who are struggling in this. It also distributed cash, food and materials to the indigent people and women of the market. The disbursement and distribution exercise took place at the market premises during its annual end of the year prayer. Faith brings us the details. Among the beneficiaries were children from orphanage homes, persons, widows, and street beggars. Addressing members, the President General of the Market, Chief Jude, one way of giving back to the society, especially the less beneficiaries of the 8 million naira, to make good use of the money that the 500,000 naira allocated will help them bounce back in their businesses. Here, peace and progress enjoyed in the market. Members of it contributed to putting smile on the faces of the beneficiaries. Vice is to use other thousand is to use the money wisely, invest the money in their business, as we prayed, by the grace of God, will be multiplied.
Earlier in the summer, a guest preacher from Immaculate Heart Parish, Fiji, Brother Ben, mindful of the life they live on earth, as judgment awaits everyone. ABS in separate interview, a member of the market board of trustees, Sir and the woman leader of the market, Mrs. Juliet Uche, thanked Chief Mwanko for setting the pace for others to follow. Very happy. Some of the beneficiaries, including Mr. Sunday and Jesse Ukachuse, said the money given to them was in their businesses and appreciated the market executive. The event also featured award presentation to Chief Wang for presentation of new market patrons and festival of Carols and Centers of St. Monica's Anglican Church, Wale War on it. National Market Ogidi, Faith Onyamuchi, ABS News. We move to the international scene where 36 opposition and activists have been convicted on conspiracy charges in Cambodia for allegedly assisting attempts by exiled members of the opposition movement to return to the country. In the latest mass trial of opponents of Cambodia's authoritarian Prime Minister Hun Sen, opposition leader Sam Raisi and several former in his party, as well as supporters of the now banned Cambodian National were found guilty at the Form Pen Municipal Court, local human rights group Ricardo has said at least 33 of those convicted in exile after fleeing abroad were tried in absence warrants have been issued because people to help opposition leaders including Deputy C. Musa Shua returned to Cambodia in 2021 in an earlier mass trial. According to to return from exile after the government cancelled her Cambodian and refused to issue an entry visa. Cambodia has been run as a one-party state since 2018, has been ruled by since 1985, making him one of the longest surviving leaders in the world. Remember to follow ABS from any part of the world by liking our page at ABS Radio Television. You can subscribe to our YouTube at ABS Television. Okay. Follow us on Radio TV or log on to our website at www.tv.com. Before we go, we told you that the Anambra state government has restated commitment towards achieving universal health coverage. I also told you that the Anambra state police commissioner, Mr. Cheng, has reached out to security agencies during emergencies. Nigeria's Security and Civil Defense Corps has tagged special female squad professionalism as 36 opposition party leaders have been convicted in Cambodia Remember that Governor Chukwu Masoluda has come for a total of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Ibo values. We need to give him maximum support for the tax ahead. 